retracing some of my first steps in the Philippines. Of course, it was different back in 2016. I wasn't drinking rice wine with the Titas then. Look at all these tambais. Man, they even worse, they look strong. Good morning again from Mayoyao, this beautiful, beautiful town in Ifugao. I think this is my favourite town so far in the course of the eras. It's not quite like Sagada, but I have that same good feeling about it. And these rice terraces are absolutely amazing. Today, we're going to go onwards further into Ifugao to a place called Hapao, which is actually, outside of Manila, the first ever place I went in the Philippines. So I went to Banawi. Banawi was very wet. Hapao, under the clouds, down a bit. Rice terrace is absolutely beautiful. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see what we find. But I very quickly had to pull over. I'm really worried about losing my rice. I've already lost half of it. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's already gone out. Oh no, it's the packet's split. That's nice heirloom rice as well. Ay, ay, ay. So worried about losing my rice. Not my marbles, just my rice. New Valley, time for a New Valley. Welcome to the Snake River Valley the road snakes even more than the river. Okay, I just saw this. If you remember in Mountain Province, we saw a car pulling a pulley. This time we have a motorbike that pulls a pulley, a smaller one. Right over there, 100cc. So right here, this is the turn and going to Batad. I've been to Batad before 2016, so I won't go there this time. This really isn't how I remember, but now we actually, I remember that it was much smaller than what I remembered, maybe, yeah. But then again, change is one of the only constant things in this world. Okay, this is what I remember. The little bridge at the bottom of the river, and he's going up. That's where I stayed. That's the one. The narrow street's much busier these days. We're going up. I'm glad this one. And here I am ready for a trip down memory lane. But this time, the experience is going to be different. We're crashing a wedding. I'm with Tita Emmy, oh. yes. <laughs> who invited me to come to Hapau, and there's a wedding of people that I don't know, and they have public invitations here, so it's totally, totally okay. Oh, it's weird, this, the last time I was here was like my fourth day in the Philippines seven years ago. And I don't remember anything, but here we are at the bottom of the rice terraces. And yes, I'd love some rice wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was really cool. It was different. It was like a fusion of modern and old. I've only seen in Ifugao people building stuff above the road, like extensions to their house. The weddings are all like public invitation. Yes. So you just go if you want. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Um, nearly all. Uh, in fact, yeah. all. The thing is, sometimes there's two, three on a Saturday. Oh, okay. It's usually always a Saturday. And um, weddings are usually happening in summer. I mean, like in the dry season, which is ah, now March, April, May. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So it's, um, wedding season. Wedding. Wedding season. 
eat and run season. <laughs> I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat and run. I just watched and I drank rice wine and ran. Oh, Derica. He's cleaning the weeds, getting the weeds off, so that the the habit for the buyo will uh, propagate. Ah, okay, so he's a moma hero. This guy's my hero. 88 years old. When I'm 88, I want to be up there doing that. You're right. <laughs> 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 Tap a wee rice wine. It's it's not that bad, eh? It's it tastes almost like honey. It's almost like it's almost like a mead in flavour. It's not too strong. And in the afternoon, April showers. Now it's starting to get like how I remember it. The next day was a different story though. This morning, I'm literally gonna trace my first steps in the Philippines. For the first time I walked, well, apart from in Manila, first time I trekked across here. I'm gonna go down to Hapao, down to the hot spring because it's 6.30 in the morning and no one else will be there, which would be nice. Good morning. Oh, maybe there's another wedding. Yes, that's bad. It's, it's kind of warm today, yeah. I look a bit. Morning. Morning. I like these. I like these little villages here. Wow, this view. It's just something else. So we're actually taking a different trail going up. Same one coming back. Because apparently this is easier. What a difference different seasons make. Councillors. <laughs> don't fall down there. Yeah, don't slip. Don't do this drunk. I'd rather fall into the rice paddy than the other way. It's absolutely beautiful up here. I never realised it came so high up. Are we going up those steps? No. No? Okay, good. I was getting worried then. Oh, we're going down here. So not there. <laughs> Welcome to these beautiful stone-walled rice terraces. I don't remember it being like this. I don't remember the valley. It was gloomy. Yeah, it's different with the weather. Yeah. Crossroads. I want to go this way. Go this way. Oh. Oh yeah, this is the old irrigation. Wow. And that's the old, yeah, the real old stone walls. Wow. It's a beautiful place to work, but certainly not easy. They can't harvest it. It's too expensive to transport. It's here for everybody. I have matching pictures from here, but no memories. I still don't remember any of this. Nothing at all. Look at the colour of that water though. Whoa. That's why photos are so important. Can't remember anything. I sound like an old man. It's only seven years ago. So I just dipped my feet instead. Not as warm as by now. <laughs> it's nice to be back. Hello. Hey. I feel like I remember this bit. Now we're really retracing my old steps. This is the way I came back down, but it was so gloomy and foggy that I don't remember the size of this valley. Just different perspective. They, they just grow this around yeah, everywhere. No, oh yeah, it's here. Yeah, and they have to take them all, all the time, but the roots are so deep 
and long. Yeah, yeah. Stabilize the... Imagine wild mint. I always have to struggle to find it in the city and it just grows wild. It's awesome. Just part of the system. Highway systems of irrigation, of walkways, of terraces. It's amazing. Really, really amazing. And I know this concrete's new, but it actually, it fits, you know, it fits. As you said, it's a living landscape, a living cultural heritage. So, you know, culture adapts, life adapts. So it's one of those things. I, I'm going to choose the old bridge. You're so modern. Oh no, I've got to go detour. Okay, it's not me for my size. Oh. I'm too big for this. I don't think anyone my size has come through here for a while. And in fact, this section here is just a giant landslide. Most of it holds up. It normally, but sometimes it just can't hold up anymore. Slides down, covers the irrigation. Ah, some of this is tomatoes though. This is where I check I'm not too fat anymore. <sighs> Hello, mate. Oh, you're there too. I didn't even see that way. I'm going to take a shortcut. And my feet. Oh, this way. Okay. You sure? I think so. This is concrete, but an interesting way. Look at this. Do I go this way or? <laughs> yeah. To your house, okay. <laughs> Hi, good. Hey, hamsters. Hello. Ah, up this way, okay. <laughs> like secret back it is. Secret passages. We're up to the road. By a random houses. It's only gone and done it again. This is exactly how I remember it. This is why I don't remember anything. It was just <laughs> plain white in the background. But now it's time to move on to stop dwelling on the past. Anyway, thank you so much, yeah? Really no appreciate worries. you opening up your house to me. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. No worries, anytime at all, even if we are not here. See you, bye bye. Bye bye, doggo, bye bye. <laughs> Cheetahs in the Philippines, they always take care, don't they? Even though, of course, they probably think I'm totally, totally mad. Really, really nice people. I only made it like five kilometers down the road. I already found this beautiful, beautiful view. You know, I've been, I've been thinking a lot about this and sometimes I go through these phases of like introspection and looking and, and now I'm just continuing down the road. And I don't think this road was here before. I think it was probably very difficult. Now it's concreted, now I can. And that's kind of like our lives. We, we start off, we go somewhere, we step back, we go somewhere else. Then when we return, we have that knowledge and that experience and we can just keep on firing through. I, I'm, I'm sentimental. I'm really sentimental, which is why I bought this hunter's backpack from my area, my collection. I love these random collections and there's nothing wrong with that because it's, for me, that's about appreciating those who make it and the culture. So Barangay Hapao is part of Hangduan and this is the centre of Hangduan right now. 
notice it's located at the pass between two giant valleys one with rice terraces one's just forested Angu means the pass little guy this is a passing place a transient place for travelers in between the two valleys and as you can see it's so 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 strategic Yamashita actually use a nearby mountain the population of this town during the war went from 14,000 down to 3,000 that's how critically important this place is Hongduan let's continue down this back road that it doesn't even appear on Google Maps only on open street maps we're going to go towards Tinok and then Bugias The most important thing we can do is continue. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. These views are good for the soul, I tell you that. You know, sometimes I go between serious and very dattled. I don't like manic, depressive, or positive, negative, or any of that, because it doesn't describe it very well. I'm in serious mode. Coming out to serious mode, I think. I think I'm going back to that art. My videos just represent my personality, I think. Because that's what I do. We should embrace our cycles and not try to deny they exist, not try to, try to pretend everything's okay. Just embrace them and use them for the best. That's what I'm trying to do. And this helps too. You see, we're designed to be able to deal with extremes. The vegetable gardens, which means we must be nearing Benguet already. It's amazing, grow vegetables anywhere. Anywhere at all, it looks kind of rocky, eh? Amazing. I admire this up here. Wow. We've got to go up and over this mountain range and back down the other side. I just had a look at the map. It's crazy. And it's so peaceful and quiet, you know? From the rice terraces of Ifugao to the vegetable terraces of Benguet, almost. I'm not sure if we're quite in, but I don't know, for me there's something really calming every time I'm near these vegetable terraces. Maybe it's because they're healthy. Maybe it's because I should eat more, I don't know. It's been three times I've come through these areas of vegetable terraces and immediately I'm just calmed, in awe and happy. And the smell is nice as well. Being a back road, there's a few more little landslips, and I think up there, I'm sure up there, that's where the highest point is. We're now back in Benguet and on a main road. So I noticed so many of these places, even small towns, are just built on the ridges in between two valleys. And that tells you a lot about the history, defending yourself against any kind of enemy. Let's go down, down into the valley and back up again. I'm just going as far as food yesterday. Abatan, the ridgetop barangay of Bugias that carries the Halsama Highway, is maybe the widest and most impressive example of this. And I'm staying here tonight. Oh yes, and I also came through here on a bus on that same journey in 2016. Here's the photo. And welcome to Bugias. Actually, I find it so interesting how they've built along this ridge. And these buildings that just, they go down. And they go down like four or five storeys below street level. On the side of the hill, on the side of the ridge. I always wanted to stay in one, and here I am now. So, life's good. It's the real reason, of course, isn't it? Here, we've got a sala. 
then, don't know, there's two beds. So I put both mattresses on top of the other because I like to be a little bit more comfortable in my life. It's been awesome. So this place is called Mark's. It's got a nice overview. I'm not feeling great, but I feel like I'm recovering. I hope. So tomorrow, we're gonna continue south back towards La Trinidad. And then I'm gonna leave the mountains behind. Mm -hmm.